deserve better. Thank you, Michael. Seriously. I know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking pussy. Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. I Well, I hope you read it correctly. Because then you might just be confused why I'm yelling at you right now. I think this might be where we find out Darcy cheated. I don't know, because I haven't watched this yet. So the title might say otherwise. We're doing two episodes today, just in case. One is super quick. The first one we're going to do is Georgie drops a bombshell secret on Florian. It fucking better be what I hope it is. What them views, baby? But just in case, that's not it. Oh, well, now I know, because I could read this guy's title. So you read that title correctly. We're going to see it happen. I'm fucking pumped. Georgie fights Michael. Darcy hooked up with Georgie. So let's just hop right into this shit, huh? How you feel after last night? Little dizzy, Georgie. Like, I haven't, like, two, three, four drinks. Well, okay, well, your alcohol limit just doubled right there. I had, like, two, three, four, five, six drinks. I, can't, I couldn't count. I was so drunk. I lost, I lost count. Maybe 12. I don't count female drink. Vodka. Only drink. You give me beer, it don't count. In Russia, that is a soft drink. I know he's not Russian, but also that that's a fact. I believe there's a time in Russia until, like, kind of recently. I think it was anything below 5% alcohol was not considered an alcoholic beverage. <laughs> 5, 6, 7. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 8, 9, 10. So like last night, Stacy very very pissed off to be honest. <laughs> is it the movie Zoolander where they're models? Why is he making that face? He's standing there like this. There's no scouts here. Relax. Stacy is pissed with you too. I know, but also I was triggered because with Darcy, she told me like she's talking to some guy, and you know I, I care about Darcy. I love her. Why? No, you don't. Nobody does. Somebody commented yesterday going, you pick on Darcy and Stacy so much. I like them. Okay, let's just be real for a quick second. They're incredibly unlikable. But how long are you, you going to wait for her? How, how, how long go to, going to be this hopes? Also, how long are you going to hear about her fucking another guy and you're going to be cool with it? What's going on here, dude? You like TV that much? I mean, I love her. I want to be with her. What? You're wasting your time. I know that she still care about me and she still love me. You know, I'm, I'm really having a hard time believing that what he's saying is true. I believe what Florian's saying is like, what the fuck? Like, listen to him. If your homie's telling you to not date a chick, most guys don't care what their homies are doing. But for a guy to tell you that rich, consistent pussy is a waste of time, she must be a pretty terrible person. A couple weeks ago, I was in Miami for some real estate stuff with friends. And um, I called Darcy and we hang out, have a couple of drinks. And, um, and she pegged you. Come on. I hope she's into that. Me and Darcy hook up. Wow. Wow. Also, does hook up mean fuck? Definitively? Does that always mean fuck? I would, I'd never know. I don't want to ask my friends because I'd sound like a loser, so I'll just say it to potentially tens of thousands of people. Because, like, if you just make out with somebody, you'd be like, yeah, we hooked up, or do you have to fuck them? Not like this is ever really going to come up again in my life, to be honest with you. We get drunk, and we have a good night together. Yeah, he heard you the first time, and he was disappointed. This reminds me in college, this one time I fucked a fat girl, and then I told my friend that I did it again, and instead of responding, he just walked away. The correct response. Are you for real? You and Darcy, like, hooked up? This is the third sentence we've heard about fucking Darcy, by the way. Yeah. Well, I don't know, for me, shocked to be honest, I don't know. You're shocked that your homeboy fucked his ex? She's got big, fake, fat tits. Of course he's gonna fuck her. What world are you living in, dude? Like when you and Stacy break up, you're telling me you're not gonna take a crack at your ex? Get out of here. You have keeping secrets that me and Darcy a couple weeks ago in Miami hook up and nobody know about this. 
You know why nobody knows about that? Because you're adults, and adults have sex, and nobody cares. But thank God for reality television. When he said he had a secret for everybody, I didn't think this was it. I thought he was going to tell everybody he's gay, and we were just like, ah, oh, I thought you were just European. Hooking up with her, it was giving me hopes that we can get back together. But since I'm here, she ignoring me. I mean, we haven't talked. Well, there's your answer, pal. How fucking old is this guy? I get that that's a hard thing to do. Actually, I could be wrong, because I'm a man, and I know literally nothing about women. The majority of my audience is women, 80%. <laughs> I don't want to see a comment from a guy. Am I one of the only guys on here? There's almost 20,000 of you. Appreciate you. <laughs> Fucking love you guys. And I'm not going to say no homo. I love you with absolute homo. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, ladies. Isn't she giving him the answer by not answering? That's the answer, right? Or should he continue? This is me projecting from my own personal life right now. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit frustrating for me. I'm trying to put myself in his shoes. Like if I was dating a famous bitch who was on TV, dude, that'd be pretty enticing. It'd be hard to say no to that, especially if she has a vagina. All women have those, right? I've heard about it. I'm glad we watched that. That was a little serendipity right there. He told us the secret. And now we get to see it play out. Apparently, well, it says fights. Georgie fights Michael. Fights is in all caps. The person who posted this video is moving mad. I think he's a TLC reaction channel. And what I mean by that, it's not derogatory, but what I mean by reaction channel, actually it kind of is. I'm sure he's great. But reaction channels, you know, the ones where they just watch them and they go, oh, wow. Whoa. No, but I think he actually gives like real comments to him. Sometimes I do that, but I try and keep it a uh, comedy. Nothing wrong with not being funny, but I am going to judge him if he tries. I also hate that he put his own fucking watermark on the TLC clip. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. <laughs> Are you new to this? When did this guy make his channel? Oh, now he's been doing this. Did you think that works? Are you fucking retarded? You think TLC is going to see this and go, Ah! Oh, we waste no time. We waste no time. Oh my goodness gracious me. Is this the black British version of me? Hello, son. We're not going to make fun of this guy. We're just going to skip past what this cunt says. And hey, cunt's not a bad thing. That's what they say in the UK. They call each other cunts. Trust me, I've never been there. Nothing against this guy, but genuinely, this is going to be insufferable to go through knowing he's going to be talking in between this. Is that how people feel when they're trying to watch the full show through me? You guys are still wrong. I <laughs> watch the show, you poor bitch. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. You make me upset. Please. Oh my God. And he sped up the clip as well. Uh, he's one of those people who thinks if you change the speed, they won't notice it. Yeah, maybe the robot won't pick up on it as if there's not a manual copyright claim. Everybody. Everybody start talking down like I'm upset. That was cool. I'm going to try my best to fix his mistakes. So hopefully it's not sped up for you guys. We'll see. You have fun on the bus. You're, You're like holding me down like yes, I'm a strong, powerful woman. And don't touch me like that. It's no about... Don't do that. Every had the you can't talk to her like this. I know you guys have your things right now, but right now, but this is this yeah. is like a time of like, happiness. I grew, up, I grew up, I grew up with a tough love. Shut up, bitch. Who are you? Even though you're right, shut up. The man is talking, okay? Is this is this still the same episode? It's gonna be so difficult to edit, man. This is 17 minutes long. My guess is this is the beginning of the episode. I did too. Listen, I respect I your culture. I went I to Albania. I, know, I, love I, know, your I know, I know, I know, I know. Listen, you have to understand. We don't talk to women like this. You're not supposed to touch a woman with a feather. You don't need to protect. You don't know what she's. Don't be like this. You in don't my need face. to protect <laughs> too. All right. Don't be like this in my face. You don't need to protect. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> Look at Starcy in the back here. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Your homeboy's about to get handled. He's about to fuck around and find out. Michael is the most unself-aware cunt I've ever seen. Hey, dude, there's two of them. These aren't American white guys. These are European white guys. They're going to fuck you up. They wrestle bears as children. I've seen it. Watch this guy ragdoll him like he's a fucking woman. What's going on? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. 
<laughs> Whoa! I'll fucking kill you, okay? Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that is that is some man shit. Like, I feel like most guys will say that in a fight, right? How could you not say that to Michael? Because you you could so easily kill him. His life force is in his hair. Who does that? You come at me like that, violent and malicious, and you want to destroy my whole You want to be like that? That's not acceptable. Showing off how fucking cheap your jacket is. Coming at me, all violent and malicious? Ah, uh, yeah, I think that's what violent is. I think that was an actual fight, but it seems like he's acting. Is he? I don't know. He's probably never actually been in a fight before because most men won't hit women. But every now and then, you walk into a Georgie who is a walking fucking tree. Like if I had a girl and Georgie smacked her ass, I would tell him I'm sorry. If you want to fight me, we can take jackets off and we go hand to hand. But at the end of the day, if you come to the wedding, we're going to see what's up. For me, I love my wife, but this is my rules. I'm the husband. Stacy's supposed to listen to me. I'm sorry if this is not from all from the same episode. I'm getting mad confused here. I hope this is just continuing through the episode. And he's not just chopping out big sections of the episode. I think he's doing that. He put Darcy and Stacey season four, episode 11 in the title. Bro, it should be a lot of the fucking episode. Don't take out what you think is boring. It's a lot of things I could make fun of. I'm funny. This guy's British and analytical. Talking about them like it's fucking Animal Planet. Also, that's a crazy thing to say, though. I'm the husband. I make the rules. No, what? I'm a guy. I know what's best. That doesn't make any sense. Do you not see her as your equal? Why are you dating somebody you think is less than you? Are you gay, homie? You need a boyfriend? I'm not gay, but I can pretend for you, Florian. Let's go. And I'll be around you. You deserve better. Thank you, Michael. Seriously. I know. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fucking pussy. What? There's nothing going on in your life that you should be crying about. We can tell you're mentally unwell. Look at your fucking hair. You shouldn't be dating him. You're the ugliest crying dude I've ever seen. Wow. You're that upset over her dating somebody? Imagine how he is in his relationships, and he's the woman in them. Seeing that genuinely has made all of this worth it. Uh, Stacy kind of stood up for herself, for, you know, in front of Florian, because but I see the same kind of traits in Florian sometimes that Georgie has. Right. Yeah, they're kind of like the same guy, and you and her are the same person. I, and she's not going to listen to you just like how you wouldn't listen to her. God, imagine if they had this logic. Oh, they wouldn't have this show. I didn't know that everybody else could see. Who a cum shot. Nice. Florence controlling behavior. But after he yelled at me and told me I had to respect him because I'm his wife, I'm starting to wonder if the foundation of this relationship is shakier than I thought. Oh, my God. That's the third time. Number three. She said three things correct this year. It's fucking April. She, this is a record. She's on a roll. If you're wondering, I am genuinely counting. Also, I got to throw this in here because I said it at the end of one of my other videos. I made fun of Michael on Instagram. Like I took one of his Instagram posts. He drew a picture of Darcy on a shirt. I was like, wow, this looks like shit. So he did a great job. <laughs> and then he blocked me. Fucking pussy. I just saw you get manhandled and then cry. You want to cuddle? And now he's moving into the Georgie telling Florian that he fucked Darcy at Top Golf. Very cool. Imagine you're at Top Golf with your kids and you hear this fucking European guy be like, yo, I fucking smashed her last night. Really took her to Pound Town, dude. We did Standing 69. Wish I had the actual clip, but this was fine. I mean, I'm never going to do this again. Like, I will never <laughs> use a commentary channel's clip ever again. This is going to take me forever. But did Darcy cheat? Was she in a relationship? I think she was just dating, right? Like, were they exclusive? They're adults. You could fuck, right? Do you guys think he actually likes her, Georgie? Or do you think he just wants to be on the show? There's so much benefit to dating her. The only downside is her. Michael. What's going on, buddy? 
Holy shit, you are fucking ugly, dude. Hey, I wouldn't look cute crying either, but I wouldn't look like this. And neither would you. Thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere, guys. I appreciate you so much. Yo, if I've ever made you laugh, did you know I have a Patreon with a Patreon podcast on patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy? That's the best way to directly support because YouTube fucking hates swears. And TLC loves to copyright claim my videos. The little warning in the beginning of a video... Not going to work because it's in my video and I made fun of it. So it's still technically in my video and watch. It's not going to work. You think they give a fuck? You think they don't know the copyright laws? They're going to read that and go, oh, thank God he pointed it out. Like I literally lost half my paycheck last month because of TLC copyright claims. I sent them like 12 legal notices that say they have to sue me if they want to keep my money, which I hope they do, because I would win and counter sue. Fair use, baby. So like I said, if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel and fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy and TLC fucking me in my mouth, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But if you can or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I fucking love you guys. We are on the road to 100K, baby. 81,500. Let's fucking go. Mwah.